Morning, folks. <clears throat> Fall is here. Been chilly in the mornings. We uh, went to uh, Sholo yesterday. I ended up doing this. A tree jumped right out and hit me. Yeah. Actually, I went over a bump. I was backing around a corner. And the car went over the corner. I hit the brake and it still went, still went into the tree. Kind of crinkled it. Crinkled the fender. Now the door's binding a little bit. On a brighter note, I found this yesterday. Lady had this at a yard sale. We we went yard selling yesterday, and it's a loft ladder. And since how we're gonna have storage in the workshop, I decided I'd go ahead and buy it. She had like twenty five dollars on it, and I started doing the math on what it would cost for me to build it and the time to build it, and got it for twenty dollars and it saved me a lot of time so we'll be able to put stuff up in the storage and everything like that my mission today take you over here and show you I'm putting soffit uh, underneath here was thinking about putting some vents in I don't know I think I may wait. I bought the vents for it. Um, got soffit there. Got soffit up along here. Got to trim it out and paint it. But I've got to take and finish putting my uh, subfacia on over here. Right here. And it'll be on the painting, uh, conking. Trying to get this thing sealed up. I got the trim for the corners. I got the trim for the fate for the soffit. Got the trim for the fascia too. So I'm gonna get with it. Start putting some sub uh, yeah some sub fascia on. Um, next time I go to town, I'm gonna grab some fascia. Yesterday we we yard sailed and just didn't didn't even think about going to Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, but we got to go back into town anyway. Seems like we do a lot of that anymore. But, anyway, uh, once I get that on, all the way around, we'll be conking and painting and doing a little bit of everything else. So, I don't even know what day it is, how many days we have into this. I know we're, we're dried in, basically, just trimming out right now. So, today will be trim, fascia, stuff like that. So, hang with us. I gotta get this ladder unloaded. I come from a long line of cobblers. Maybe it's the cobbler in me that likes buying things that are already made, somebody else put effort into. But it saves me money, and I kinda like the history behind it. The lady that had that ladder said that the contractor had built it and used it to get up in her second story loft before they put in the staircase. She just had it laying there. I figure, why not? Okay, so what we got here, we got our soffit in, we've got to continue our soffit up the rake. What I've been doing is going to the other side and bringing the soffit back and then I'll have a small piece, but I'm cutting it as I go. I got this piece out of 
the last full four by eight sheet after I'd cut both of my soffits. It's gonna get a three quarter by inch and a half um, trim down this back and then it'll get another piece of trim along the front edge where the face is on there. Everything's going to get trimmed up against the, the wall, be all conked, it'll look real nice. So my next piece is going to go from that end to the middle, then there'll be a small piece for the middle. And then I'll be working on the, the rakes. I've got to put this little piece of 2 before uh, on the other end, on both sides, so I can get the, the soffit on that. And we'll be moving on to corner trim. Once I get that up there, I can get the corner trim. Then I can trim, put the trim against the house. We got the soffit in, the corner's conked. I'm fixing to, fixing to find this angle here. They're not all, just, when you're doing trim work, you want to make sure you have the right angles. Um, conking will fill a lot, but you want it as tight as possible. So right up here, I'm going to find my angle. And I'm going to transfer that to my chop saw. And I'm going to build the corner, stick it up there, finish nail it off, maybe run some screws in it too. As you can see, we got the, all the soffit in. I'm going to start trimming it out now. Start trimming out the soffit. It's going to look really good. Polly is over here. She is puttying the corners. We want to fill anywhere there's a gap. We want to fill it with conk. Even though it's getting trim over top of it, we want to make sure that we're not getting letting the insects and cold air in. Um, it's just gonna make it a lot tighter, a lot nicer. So she's doing that. And I'm gonna find this angle. Let me show you this little tool. This is an angle finder. Um, it is, this is this little cheap one, but it really works really well to help you find angles. Um, and then you can transfer them over to your chop saw or whatever. So I'm gonna crawl up here and see if I can't get this angle and then cut my first piece of trim. It's a pretty nifty little tool. Uh, it's got a little tightener on it. You just find your angle, tighten it down. That gives you your angle. Put this down along one side, this up against the other. Show you how it works. So this is my outside wall. I'm gonna put this up here. Put this against my, my wall and then tighten it up. That's what my angle is. That's gonna be the angle. That's gonna be the angle of my front piece and my side piece. So I'm gonna transfer this over to the to the wood, find the angle on the saw, it'll tell me where to set my compound to cut the other side of it. says it's a 22 these little tools make your life a whole lot easier when you're doing trim so here's my corner I've got my angle cut on here and on this board too and I'm gonna stick it right up there and finish nail it and run the whole length Some of this lumber we're using is it's been roughed up some but lumber's kind of hard to find right now we'll do the best we can with it it is a work shed after all workshop 
So I got this all finished nailed together. I'm gonna take and put it up there, finish nail it up, and then I'll probably run some screws in it too, just for good measure. Okay, trim is up. So now we can run our trim over our brake and our soffit once I get all these on. So now I just gotta make three more of those. Okay, folks, just got this little piece of trim up. Still got to conk it, but that's what it's going to look like right there. Minus the ladder. Oh. <laughs> There's going to be a fascia on there. It'll have the same type of trim. Probably turned up, up flat. We've got to trim out where we put in that piece, but it's going to look really nice. I'm going to Go ahead and run these and then this trim me and polly's been conking how many tubes of conk have we went through so far babe six. six tubes so we're conking all the screw holes all the nail holes all the cracks um it's all all being conked conked around the windows um so it's looking really nice we got conking everywhere including on us trying to conk everything as we go there's a few places we missed but before we're done we'll we'll prime it that's really going to make places stand out and then when we put our final coat on we'll we'll really know where to conk at before we do that so it's coming along looking real nice what do you think babe you like it okay i'm going to end it for here today it's it's getting late we're going to ended up i don't know what day this is like i said this morning how many days been working on it but i'm going to keep working on it next time you see it it'll have a little bit more trim on it but that's pretty much the same process that we're doing putting trim up then we're going to paint it maybe be a different color by the time you see it next so remember to like share and subscribe i look at my analytics and most of the people who are watching our videos are not even subscribed so if you're running across our channel and you're not subscribed, we'd appreciate, uh, you know, just hit, it don't cost a thing, just hit the old subscription. Take and hit the notification bell to see what we're going to do next. Um, I hate dragging these builds out, but we've got a lot to do on this on this little workshop yet. we got to insulate it, get a stove in it, uh, just do a lot to it. So there's going to be plenty more on this build, uh, just, just tons of stuff, so taking if you are looking for a gift or if you're looking for an electric fence charger looking for something like that run over to our etsy shop it's in the description below uh, we've got tons of stuff on there uh, hope to get some new stuff on there soon being out here with no internet it's kind of hard to just drop what i'm doing and do it and when we go to town we're so busy it's hard to get everything in in a day uh, we're getting really close by now by the time you see this we may be at a thousand i don't know been a long hard pull uh it gets it gets uh tedious at times you think you're never going to get there but we just keep doing our thing and building this and until next time we'll see you down the road <laughs>